Run from the citrus dragon. God, he's orange. How's it going, guys? It is Fox, and welcome to another Magic Pack opening. Today, I'm going to be opening a fat pack. Is it going to be a Battle for Zendikar fat pack? No. Oath of Gage? No. None of that. It's Origins. Magic Origins. The set that I said sucked. And it totally doesn't. <laughs> Well, I said it sucked when it first came out, because when it first came out, it was kind of up, down. It was like a roller coaster of, like, good and bad, and ugh, and now Jace is quite along the lines of uh, original, of a uh, Mind Sculptor Jace. It's like, it's getting up there, so, um, yeah, it's kind of worth it now. So we got a pa fat pack of uh, Magic Origins to open. Um, I want to say this fat pack was bought partially with the help of a friend of mine, Grievous Gaming, on YouTube. He's a actual friend of mine, like a physical, he, he exists within some time of space he's there and he also has a youtube channel grievous gaming at youtube.com or fucking just go to the link that i'm probably putting all over the video do 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 somewhere around there and also in the description uh he gave me some coupons and as a jew i bleed coupons so that helped uh, and yeah i got this at a very good discount i'm pretty happy about that so subscribe to him i want to freak him out with how many subscribers i can get him in like a week so yeah go do that he also does deck tech videos if you're interested in that and I'll probably be on one of his videos very soon. It's only a matter of time. Anyway, let's get, uh, go away with all the shameless plugs and get on to the Magic Origins Fat Pack of Doom. There we go. I guess I'm saying stuff of Doom. Um, what do I want from the set? Uh, not bulk rares. There are a good amount of bulk rares, but there's also a good amount of decent rares. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping for those little nuggets of decent rares. All right. So here we have the book. And the White Card of Wisdom. If you take it, you'll go to jail. All right, so here's the book. Magic Orgit, we don't care. Toss that over there. Here's the poster. It is a poster, it's probably a Jace. It is Jace in his $80 fucking face. And we also got our fat pack with extra wood. Um, I do like the design of this fat pack. I always like the design where it's not like Gideon's face on it because I'm sick of seeing his freaking handsome face. Anyway, get in a fat pack. You get the top of the fat pack. You also get two boxes of stuff. Uh, two cardboard boxes to hold stuff, I should say. And you get nine packs. So here is... Hey, we got a cool die. I am a fan of black and white dice. Regard or salt and pepper dice in this case. Because uh, you can easily see the numbers. And they're cool. And I like the sunset thing. I, I know it's supposed to be this. It just looks like a sunset. Alright, so there's the die. We rolled a nine. Or a six. <laughs> All right, nine packs of Origins. Uh, hopefully, hanger back, hanger back walker would be pretty good. I don't need a hanger back walker though. I would like a Jace, Vrin's Prodigy. My finger's still broken-ish, so this is hard to open. And oh yeah, our land pack isn't full hearts. I'm kind of used to full heart land packs already. Uh, hey, that land is a full art though. What the fuck? All right, whatever. Yeah, they just recycle old art. Anyway, so uh, it's just a basic land. They're just ugly basic lands. They're not full art and precious and yummy. All right, so we got nine packs of Magic Origins, as I've said, I think, three times now. Here we go. Let's begin the video. Let's, let's just close this. I don't know why. Fuck it, it doesn't want to close. Uh, oh, there's no chicken magic, right? All right, so let's get on with it. There are some good commas and uncommas in here, too, so... I'm not even... Caustic Caterpillar, Caustic Caterpillar is not bad in EDH. I haven't even been counting the comments, so... I don't think I have a foil, but... Whatever. Uh, Irosis Champion, Totem Guard, Heart Beast, also an EDH card, Sky Raker Giant, and a rare... It, oh, there we go. First card, Hangerback Walker. <laughs> that is pretty good. I think he's like 10. He could be more. I'm not really sure. Um, but he is insane in like plus one, plus one generating token decks, uh, such such as Marath, which is the deck I play. And he is great in that deck. I have gotten him up to like 42 counters before, so it's dumb fun to play with him. And I also think he's still a standard card, so... Money! Yay! Alright, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Although there aren't no... There are no uh, expedition lands in the set, so I don't know what I'm counting for. Psychic Rebuttal. Sylvan Messenger. Possessed Scab. And... Chandra's Ignition. I don't think that's a... It could actually probably be a bulk rare. I don't know. I don't know a lot of things. And a Thopter. Oh, we didn't get a token in the last pack. We got a Thopter now. Looks like a freaking beehive. Next pack. Uh, right. uh, Macabre Waltz. Easily the creepiest fucking card ever made. That is... Uh, it's a reprint of the same art, and it's creepy as hell. 
three, one, two, three, one, two, three. No four. Uh, oh, I thought this was the Pac-Man um, Penny Arcade thing. Sigil of Valor, is it? No, it's not. Sigil of Valor, Fiery Conclusion, Thopter Engineer, and Grave Blade Marauder. I actually don't think he's a bulk rare. I could be wrong, but I think he's worth something. Put him right here, just in case. What does he even do? Death Touch. Remember, Grave Blade Marauder just combat damage to a player. That player loses life equal to the number of creature cards in the grave. Yay! He looks like an uncommon. Alright. Next pack! Uh, Fetidim. Oh, why am I reading? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No foil. Uh, Patron of the Valiant. Skyraker Giant. Malkir Cullblade. And. Yay! Kithian! Not the good planeswalker, but it's a planeswalker nevertheless. Actually, I think he's the worst planeswalker. But it's a mythic. I think he's worth like five, six bucks. Not really sure. I haven't looked at the price in a while. Uh, but a Planeswalker is always good. He's also not bad in EDH. What is this guy? I'm just reading this card for a deck. Yeah, okay. I'm putting him in it. I'm putting her in a deck. Alright. We have one, two, three, four, five packs left. Come on, Jace. You know you want to give me $80. Uh, Shrouding Mist. Uh, I don't know. I'm reading one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, we got a foil. Come on, foil Jace. Clash of Wills. Foundry of Consoles, Enthralling Victor, Rare is Kithy, that is a bulk rare, that card sucks. Our foil is a cruel something. What is this? Cruel, it does not even look like a foil. Should we talk about it? It's just a random one common. And not even a token. Not even a token. Uh, Oath of the Gatewatch really does ease the pain of getting nothing in a pack with full arts, uh, full art lands. I can see that now, pulling just regular basic lands, it's not the same. Alright, one, two, three. Hey, Dragon Potter. Still pretty good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, another foil. Come on, foil chase. Tormented Thoughts. Conclave Naturalists. Foundry of the Consoles. Again, our rare is. Oh, Airbow's Titan. He's not bad, actually. And our foil is Rock Smallers. And then a swamp that's not even cool. Foil Rock Smallers. Foil Rhinos. Pretty damn good and limited. Not so good as far as Ollie goes. Uh, three more packs left. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No fall. Uh, Jorga Invocation. Valor of Akros. Ram Roller. And, hey, Dark Petition. Not bad. It's not a bulker. It's a pretty good EH card. Pretty good tutor. I think it's played in standard. I'm not really sure. I've seen it in a few decks, so I could be wrong. Last two packs of the, this pack's kind of open already. So we're gonna open it. So that's a good sign. Or a bad sign. It's a sign. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hey, foil. Magmatic Insight, which is a pretty good card. Shadows of the Past. Shaman of the Pack, another pretty good card. Rare is a Knight of the White Poop. And the Foil Tormented Thoughts. That's not worth anything. And then a Zambi. The last pack for the video. Oh, you know what? I'm not, I can't be that mad. I did pull a hanger back and a uh, Kithian, so. Not too bad. Also, I think Airbus Titan might be worth something. I'm not really sure. Two, three. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not, no ending with a foil, but we could end with a Jace. Warhorn. Acolyte of the Inferno. Flashback Marauder, my favorite card. And a rare. Hey, Yabby Mycos. It's a land. Can't be too mad about that. Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. These are the good rares that I pulled. Here are some poop rares. And you know what? The ratio of good rares to poop rares is pretty good. Even Night of the White or Orchid isn't too bad. And I don't know if this is worth anything. So, there we got some both, but we got a lot more good stuff. So, I'm pretty happy. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later more videos. Again, thanks to Grievous Gaming for giving me coupons. Ha! <laughs> coupons! Uh, which got me some percentage off this box. So, I appreciate it. Go subscribe to him. I want to freak him the hell out. Give him like a million subscribers. Get him more subscribers than me. That'll be funny. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later more videos. But until then... Mr. Macy's look at me. Bye!